A Merry Christmas to all, both residents and visitors of these one-of-a-kind Virgin Islands, particularly my constituents of the 3rd Electoral District. I am Julian Fraser, representative for the 3rd District and member of Her Majesty's Loyal Opposition, House of Assembly of the Virgin Islands. This Christmas finds us with a different government from last, but the challenges remain the same. People in my district continue to go without a regular supply of potable water. Raw sewage is still being dumped in the waters off Slaney since Hurricane Irma in 2017. And open burning in Pocket Pond continues as the incinerator has been out of commission since November 2018. Our budget remains woefully inadequate to meet all the basic needs of our people, despite its bloated size of $414 million. Is government doing all they can? That's a question they'll have to answer. All I can say is that more needs to be done. 12 days ago, government passed a $414 million budget with a recurrent expenditure that sucks in 80% of it and involved a further requirement of having to borrow an equivalent 10% in order for it to balance. A clear picture of the year ahead is not evident as government is yet to report on the outcome of their September meeting with the FCO regarding the UK's offer of the $426 million loan guarantee to fund the RDA's projects. Brexit is now a reality, as a frustrated UK electorate has resoundingly rejected a minority remainers of electing the Boris Johnson Tory government and ensured a January 31st departure from the European Union. As we in the Western Hemisphere was made to learn that this day, December 25th, is a very special day. We continue to celebrate it even more than 20 centuries after we first did. But do we all celebrate for the right reason? This is the day our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was born, and that is the only true reason for celebrating on this day. Christmas has become a time of fun, family, and gifts for many. For other people, it has become a time of loneliness and end-of-year stress. And I dare not lose sight of the disingenuous commercialization of the day. I am aware that this year has brought immeasurable suffering to many of you throughout the territory, especially in my district, where I too have lost family and friends. Nonetheless, I urge you now to refocus on the celebration of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and leave all else behind. My heart goes out to all who mourn the loss of loved ones as I grieve their passing with you. If you are hospitalized, please know that my prayers are with you. And those of you who are less fortunate, I endeavor to do my part to change that. In closing, let me say on behalf of my wife Carrie and myself, how thankful I am to the people of the 3rd District for their expressions of love and confidence in me, for having me as their representative for this my 21st Christmas. I thank you. And may I extend greetings to all the people of the territory, particularly my constituents, both those at home in the BVI and in St. Thomas, St. Croix and St. John, United States, Virgin Islands. May each of you and your loved ones, both near and far, have a merry, merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year.